think when we were thinking about this exhibition, um, we were thinking about really wanting to kind of show more in context and show the context in which many of the monumental sculptures in the grounds um, were conceived. Yeah, it's great, isn't it? Because, you know, we're so lucky here at Perry Green to have this beautiful grounds and home where Henry Moore lived and worked for so many years of his life, but it's quite easy to forget what an international superstar he was. And the 60s in particular was this incredible decade, wasn't it, where he was being commissioned from all over the world, particularly in America and Germany and the Netherlands, and all of that sculpture came from here. This is the decade when everything gets big, right? You know, things um, become more abstract. Um, and, you know, scale and abstraction kind of go hand in hand mm. to a certain extent. Yeah. I think after a period in the 50s where he's very much serving a kind of post-war regenerative agenda with his, public, his, his sculpture is very figurative, 60s seems to allow him a lot of freedom to become mm. kind of more abstract. And yeah. even works like this, where you can see the figure, he's playing with this sort of idea of it coming from this organic form. So this was inspired by a, a bird's bone, I believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> when it's um, enlarged, it takes up space and it makes you kind of really want to move around it. Mm. And he's really enjoying these kind of knife sharp edges mm. in contrast with these sort of flatter, rougher planes of texture. Yeah. So this is a work, of course, that a lot of people know outdoors here, but um, quite a lot of people also know from in front of the Houses of Parliament of course, in Westminster. Yeah. Moore is thinking about non-figurative sculpture in, an, in a location where he's sort of, this work is there, mm. buffered by you know, Richard the Lionheart on one side, I think, yeah. and Churchill on the other. And to do something like this was so daring and so innovative. Mm. Um, and to create not only an abstract work in that space, but one that kind of encourages you to look through, mm. to look around, yeah. to really occupy its space and hold its own. I mean, it's quite nice that, you know, there's this sort of texture as well and these really smooth parts. And, of course, Moore talks about that a lot mm. with his really abstract forms. Yeah, he, he begins so? in the 60s, doesn't he, to introduce um, smoother surfaces. So his 50s work were from very kind of roughly mm. textured, but I think these help to kind of emphasise these sharp edges and mm. um, more sinuous forms. I think you really get that with the pointed mm. work. His pointed forms had a sense of anticipation in them, mm. and I think you, you really get that. And then, you know, so here you've got that anticipation in them moving mm. towards one another. And then when you come to things like spindle pace, it's sort of straining Stretching outwards in yeah. the opposite direction. And it's sort of, yeah, there's a real energy in these mm. forms. Um, and you wouldn't believe it, that it would have kind of originated from from a flint, a yeah, which he flint. probably picked up in the field, you know, just outside, just outside. the gallery. Yeah. So, yeah, this is one of the first works that Moore made using his new process. So, the '60s he is the decade when he discovers, for want of a better word, polystyrene, mm. which is really light and you can carve it really quickly. Yeah. Um, but in order to get that surface finish, which we know he really loves, he then cast that po uh, polystyrene enlargement in plaster. So this is what we're looking at here. Mm. It's a cast, a plaster cast of, of a polystyrene, polystyrene. Yeah. which has been cut up and sent to the foundry. Yeah, so you, you can, can see, see the, these. Yeah. the joins where the, the sections have been put back together. And, and you can see right can inside. See <laughs> The joy that he finds mm. in like these really brightly coloured felt tip pens with this like artificial colour that had just been invented in yeah. the 60s and weren't really intended to be kind of artist materials at all. 
And for me, I think the 60s drawings for more. Like he's so busy with sculpture, he's so busy with all of that international fame downstairs that we could see. Like this becomes just pleasure and fun and these incredible doodles mm. and... Um, and you really get a sense yes. of someone having fun on, on paper, don't you? Yeah. So the exhibition also includes a selection of films from the Henry Moore archive. Yeah, I mean, Moore was so inviting of mm. um, film crews. You know, he had TV crews from around the world filming here at Perry Green and everybody wanted to come here. Everyone yeah. wanted to see the man at home and in the studio. 